Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Well, welcome back everyone and happy Thursday morning to you. If you're a big fan of winter, of course, you've been loving the temperatures and winter conditions we've been dealing with for this week, but this for today will be warming up with highs getting into the 60s. Now this morning still pretty cold though, but this is a, a, an improvement from where our temperatures were around this time 24 hours ago. Of course, we were seeing some single digits on the map, not only for parts in the mid south, but also in our viewing area. Of course, Woodville, they had a temperature of nine degrees degrees at one point yesterday morning, but now we're pretty much all in the 30s and 40s across Louisiana and taking a closer look to home 39 in Sauter, 41 for Baton Rouge, 40 in Woodville and 42 for Gonzales. Now looking at that 24 hour temperature change, we're 22 degrees warmer at this time this morning than we were 24 hours ago. And of course, that's due to that warmer air that's been building in since yesterday. Now current temp here in Baton Rouge is 41 degrees, feels like temp is at 38 and we also have a few clouds present this morning and we'll pretty much be dealing with partly to mostly cloudy skies for the rest of our Thursday. Now, yesterday we reached a high temp of 46 degrees, but again, today will be warmer thanks to that warmer air moving in with that southerly southeasterly wind flow and also becoming southwesterly as well. Now, throughout the rest of your Thursday, we'll start to get a couple of showers moving through the area. Some of us will possibly not receive rain. Rain chances aren't too high for today, and highs will be in the upper 50s to mid 60s range. 59 for Woodville, 66 for Baton Rouge, 67 for Denham Springs, and 60 for Kentwood are today's high temperatures. Now looking at your future track, uh, by the time we get to the late morning and midday hours in the afternoon, we'll start to have a few showers moving through. This will continue into the afternoon. We'll still have that southerly wind flow pulling in that warm, moist air into the area. Then by this evening, we'll have the next cold front making its way towards our area. Now overnight lows will be in the mid 30s to low 40s range. Now there is the possibility we could possibly get some patchy fog late tonight during the overnight hours. And then once this next cold front clears out, of the area during the overnight hours and into your Friday morning, we'll start to see some cloud cover decreasing as we progress through the rest of Friday morning and into the afternoon and that northerly wind flow will be returning behind the front, helping us to have cooler weather heading into the weekend. So we'll just have northerly wind flow for tomorrow and also still continuing into this weekend. Now tomorrow's highs will be in the mid 40s to low 50s. So again, you need a coat this morning by this afternoon. You don't have to worry about one, but you'll need to keep your coat with you all day tomorrow as it will be cool thanks to that cold front and then Saturday's highs will only be in the 40s and then we'll still be near 50 on Sundays. So we have nice conditions for this weekend with mostly sunny skies for your Saturday and Sunday. But again, it will be pretty cold. So any outdoor plans that you have, just make sure you're still staying bundled up well throughout the day. Now we have a hard freeze watch that will be in effect for Saturday morning from midnight to about 9 a.m. And that's covering our greater Baton Rouge area, east and west of Baton Rouge Parish, Everville, and also our south Mississippi. Mississippi counties for Amy and also Wilkinson and then for areas within the greater New Orleans area along the South Shore they are under a freeze watch so again we have a hard freeze watch and they'll be under a freeze watch through that same time frame midnight through about 9 a.m. Saturday morning now looking at your next seven days will be dry this weekend but rain chances will be going up heading into next week estimated rainfall totals are around three inches over the next week for our area so just to recap a look at your seven day forecast temperatures going up and down and as I've been mentioning do what you can to keep your immune system intact. We'll, we'll be warmer today with highs in the 60s, near 50 tomorrow, then we'll be in the low 70s by the middle of next week. 